Starting on a new page feels better every time. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm doing my makeup you now, but you guys, today has been a very shitty day. Like, ah, you know, one of those days that you just want to yank off. Like, you just want to scream and be like, God, why can't things just be straightforward for once? Like, okay, before I go on, let me calm down. My name is Nelo. If this is your first time, you know, clicking to watch my vlog, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, I hope that you know you're going to enjoy this vlog and guys I always beg if you enjoyed the vlog please give the video a thumbs up okay now let me get started on why today has been so crazy you guys I just want to cry even because I don't understand my life is not made for stress like stress does not look good on me stress does not feel good on me stress is not made for my life like seriously <laughs> serious and then i'll let it talk tick tock take over my take me over okay so basically what's been happening is that so my friend hit me up you know that we should um take the kids to paris to disney paris um to disneyland for you know um the half term break and you know we have all these ig plans that we're going to create content and take pictures and of course do disneyland for the girls okay because remember the girls are the main reason you know it's just the whole other things you know so i'm i've really like bought into the eye hole um you know trip and she also got like a very very bargain ticket so it's really really like it's a good one husband is on board kids are on board now because your girl does not have a British passport this is why I hate traveling I hate hate traveling because of this visa stress so I need to apply for visa I've gone sorry for I've gone on you know the French embassy to see to try and apply I've done the whole application and everything but you know you have to book an appointment gosh you guys will not believe that there is no appointment date the only the earliest appointment date I could find was July I'm like God. Then I was like, okay, let me try Spain because I've been to Spain. I went to Spain. I filled out the application form and everything. I can't get a date, an early date for Spain as well. I'm just, right now, I'm just, my head is just doing popcorn, honestly. I'm just crazy. I've decided, you know, to just take a break and come and do my makeup because very soon now it's time to go and pick up the girls from school. Like, I've literally, I've started doing this thing since, yes, last night. I put the girls to bed last night by nine uh, by nine the girls were already sleeping i started doing this thing by nine last night i didn't go to sleep until 12 midnight today again once i dropped the kids off at school i came back the same thing and still no headway it's just it's driving me nuts it's driving me nuts let's do makeup let's just do makeup when I come back, I'm going to try Swedish Embassy and see if there will be any luck there because this holiday, this holiday, I must go for it. <laughs> I don't, I've just been cursing the UK since. I've been cursing these people that, why did they leave the, the, the European Union, you know? Because again, they make things so hard for those of us that don't have, you know, the British passport. If you had, if I had the British passport, I don't even need to do visa and everything, you know, I just carry my bag and go. But now, it, okay, before, when you had the British passport, it's very easy for you to get a pass uh, to get, you know, your visa. But I'm not even talking about the requirements because that one can be done. It's to actually get this appointment. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, please, you guys should pray for me, okay? Because this holiday, we must go for it. This content, we must create it, okay? We must create it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway so um the makeup is just going to be something very light because i'm clearly like not in the mood for not in the mood to do much Guys, I am done with my makeup and I even ended up filming some Zara haul. I didn't finish filming, I filmed a bit because I was like, you know what, let me get some work done. And now I am, you know, ready to run out because <laughs> I always run, you know, to go pick up the kids. 
for my OOCD. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So, this is just the side. And bring the camera down. Let's quickly show you guys before we head out. So, I've got on these are my jeans. They're from Zara. Like, they're all done. I mean, like, last year or two years ago. And then I have this, you know, Zara body top that you know has the girls them in chokehold honestly i love this body top i'm definitely going to next time i'm shopping on zara i'm going to buy black and then i popped on my husband's oversized blazer i love this blazer whenever i wear this blazer it makes me feel like you know i'm wearing this by the way this blazer is um what's that brand again you know this men's brand um Mm, see TM Lewin, yeah TM Lewin, but the husband doesn't wear it anymore. He says he doesn't like the shape of it, but that's actually what I love about it. You know that boxy shape of it. It gives it, it gives me um you know Frankie Frankie shop yeah. It gives me Frankie shop vibes, but you know took it from the husband's wardrobe. Yeah, so this is today's award today, and the meals on my feet are from Zara. Alright guys, let me run now, okay? I'll talk to you guys in town. Hey guys, I've just picked up the girls. Say hello, yeah, girls. hello, hello, hello girls. <laughs> you say hello. This is say hello. Hello, say hello. Look, say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and now we are going into Lido. I want to get um. No, yeah. Nancy says she wants to try jam donuts. She doesn't, she never used to like it when she was little, but so she wants to give it a go now. Maybe some of our friends have talked about how yummy jam donuts are, I guess. So, anyway, I was like, okay, let's stop by and also maybe bribe her so that she can take me some pictures, guys. <laughs> Have jam donuts. I'm confused. Honestly, they always is. They don't have it today. Uh -uh. Dizzy, you want this one? Eat. Hmm? Eat. Hmm? Don't touch. You want this? Eat. Okay. And now, guys, we're just about to take pictures. So, why did uh, this will be munching on her donuts? Now just finished hers so she can take my pictures. I'm just gonna take it against this background because I like this background. Did it your feelings and then walk out on you? But I'm a tip top right about your bedroom. Oh baby now, what's with all the attitude? Put a smile on honesty is Hey guys, today's um Wednesday. Just dropped off the kids at school and now I'm at Aldi shopping I swear you guys <laughs> my friend um, Joanna and my sister they said I'm always looking for means and opportunities to spend my money because it's like every day once I drop the kids at school I would be thinking oh how can I spend my money today you know what can I buy today and then I would you know <laughs> buy myself in the shop because I swear I always buy one thing or the other and the truth is that we need those things that I'm buying like now I need to get kikumba and fruits you really bugging you mad for nothing I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be booed up boy I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be now you know damn well we ain't on that level you post subliminal messages to whoever so full of pride that you can't even decide if you want to walk out or pull them to the side you want to get in that ooey gooey boy don't you don't want to leave though oh that's where you lost me homie guess he feeling lonely but i'm so sorry you just not priority now you know i wouldn't pass up a good thing i 
suggest that you take it for what it is, babe. When I pull up, I'm not parking it in your drive. Hey guys, long time no see, long time no vlog, you guys. Wait, let me tell you guys something. You know, I'm always telling people that I'm putting on weight, and some of you will be saying, Ah, oh, Leno, you look perfect. Leno, you look good. You see, look at my trouser. Look at this trouser. I can barely drop the buttons. Like, if I drop the buttons, they are so tight, and they were not like this when I bought it. So, this is what I'm talking about when I say that I am putting on weight, okay? Because you guys always gaslight me, like, Nilo, you have, you're okay, you know? Especially you, Nina, you're always gaslighting me. You're okay. Look at your shape. Yes, but I'm not going to, start. I'm not going to order for a new wardrobe, you feel me? Because if I become too fat for the things I have in my wardrobe, then I need to start buying new things. And I don't want to do that, <laughs> okay? So I'm getting ready to go pick up the girls from school, guys. I have not vlogged in a while. I was actually going to vlog yesterday, but then I realized that I did not charge my batteries. So my battery was dead, so I could not vlog. And I don't want to do a lot of vlogging on my phone, so maybe that's just a good um, excuse. So I'm getting ready to go pick up the girls. I'm sure I've said it. And yeah, first of all, I spent a good number of time trying to decide what to wear the weather right now is so crazy like you don't know if it's going to be like really cold or if it's going to be warm and also today is going to be a no makeup day because i've literally spent the whole day here cleaning because my husband my lips are so dry just called me yesterday night to tell me that he's coming back this weekend yay i mean i'm happy yeah because there's bank holiday so he gets to spend the bank holiday with her so yay you know and then he's also going to come back next weekend which is my birthday weekend because the whole plan was that i was going to come back for my birthday weekend but then he now changed his mind and said you know what it's bank holiday i don't spend it outside I spend all those number of days outside doing nothing so i'm going to come back and spend it with you guys and he decided last minute last night so I had some kitty kitty kata kata cleaning the house, sweeping, cleaning everywhere. See my bed sheets. I have to take out the bed sheets. I've taken out the bed sheets. It's in the laundry basket. I need to wash them, you know, get a new one. Just basically make the whole house very presentable. So that's what I've been doing all day. <gasps> you guys, I have five minutes to run out. So I'll talk to you guys soon. So, guys, this is my OOTD. It's not very bright here. Let me open it up. Yeah, it gets bright. Good. And um, it gets dark too. Okay, yeah, so this is my. It's on the slide. Actually, this one can stay on. This one goes off. I see. Try. Anyway, you guys, this is the OOTD. Doesn't get better anyway, so. Um, shirt is H&M, um, jeans Zara, green coat H&M, I don't even know what the weather is saying you guys, hope I don't get too hot, Wait, let me run. Hey guys, so your girl is trekking, I missed the bus, and it's like trekking up the hill, I don't know if you guys can see, also, my throat is dry you guys also changed that coat because it's so hot outside it's hot AF outside even with this delay I'm sweating but maybe it's because I'm tracking sure oh anyway I just wanted to update you guys I will speak to you guys when I pick up the girls Pew. hey guys so we are back from school runs and all the kids have eaten i've eaten i'm about to make my bed now i um have a shoot tomorrow with uh, my photographer i'm so excited so i need to put um the looks together so once i'm done with this bed i'm going to put together some looks and yeah that's it we're gonna do it together y'all ready to see some bits? Eh, eh, eh. 
Hey. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so excited like when I need to try looks together I know that you know some people say it's stressful and all of that but me I love it I've always been that person here that would scatter her whole wardrobe putting looks together just trying looks and looks when I was in uni you know I had my wardrobe then I would literally spend a full day just trying on clothes putting clothes together putting looks in my head trying to see if this and this will give me you know i've always been that girl <laughs> so yes that's what we're gonna do now but first let me make this bed so guys i do not iron my bed sheets i do not iron my bed sheets and that's a trend right now yeah you know to be that girl you have to iron your bed sheets no this lazy mama does not iron her bed sheets <laughs> i just lay my bed sheets okay and call it a day no time no time to say no time they don't gotta know that i be at where you stay but i considered your feelings when you held on to me had the courtesy to wait until you fell asleep oh baby be happy you got a piece of me feel special nigga i don't do this usually so why you bugging you mad for nothing i told you from the gate that i wasn't trying to be pulled up oh no boy i told you from the gate that i wasn't trying to be So I'm um, going to be styling, going to be um, t snapping <laughs> some of the looks that you know we got from Asus, like these skirts. So I'm going to style this skirt with this green shirt. I think that you know it's gonna give. So now I don't know whether to do these sandals or get the new one. You know, or these nude sandals. I'm kind of confused what else to do with the nude sandals. I think I'll do it with the nude sandals, you know, and just leave my legs because the nude just look like it's there's nothing on. Or this one, this one kind of matches. This one will be very colorful, this one will be subtle. And I'm also going to do the green bag. Just going back with it. Hmm. Can't decide. Can't seem to decide. So guys, I'm thinking of you know doing this free with this shirt because this skirt is like super duper short. So but I think that you know if I pop this shirt on, you know, it makes it look better. And then it's not giving juvie not gonna wear this inside you know i wish i had like oh yes i do yes with some chunky chunky jewelry chunky neck piece mm -hmm. chunky gold piece actually should i layer this too because i already have one i think i'm a layer i would layer them but my face is so oily <laughs> but basically like this you know I like so now we need to work on accessories like I'm gonna need some sunglasses with this look so I really like my white my white sunglasses I make this blue bag you know just carry like this I'm not going to do red earrings I was thinking red earrings but no because just the red boots will be the only pop of color here I'm also going to do um, gold accessories. Yeah, so. Okay. Yes, so she's going to love Guys, we're is. taking a break, you know, to do some mm -hmm. mom and daughter hugging and <laughs> chatting. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> the kids have found me. <laughs> oh my god, I've messed up your shades, haven't I? Your glasses. Oh, by the way, Nanya got new glasses. She says, today. Yes, I got some new glasses. <laughs> They're so cute. She said she wanted vintage, vintage, vintage shades. 
Let me go and get her. These are not shades, mommy. These are glasses. Oh, sorry, vintage glasses. I keep calling them shades. I don't know why. <laughs> why? All right, let me it go. It kind of look like the ones you're wearing. Yeah. So next, I got the green pants from Zara, and so I'm thinking that I'm going to style it with this crochet bralette top from H&M, and this my blazer from Shein and for on the feet um what am I gonna do on the feet now I think I'll just do like a white sandals for the feet good I'm morning good morning guys um just wanted to quickly update you guys I am on my way to go shoot with my photographer got my bag ready and this is the first week that we're going to be shooting it's a bit dark in here so I would chat with you guys when I meet up with Louis hey guys so I'm here now I'm in town center met up with Louis Hello. <laughs> say hi <laughs> and yeah so I changed into these um, red boots and we're about to go take our first look inside <laughs> yo guys we are back from school uh, what did I buy I bought a few things okay pepper because I want to make them um, stew that did you get tomato out. yeah pepper is on tomato okay and then I got myself I got lettuce and I got myself smell of eyes and by the way, I got some new glasses today. They cannot see your glasses. Yeah, no, no, got new, new glasses. glasses today. I mean, mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. You guys agree with me? <laughs> yes, it is beautiful. Right. My makeup is still noisy since morning. So I stopped recording. All, but after all that pictures that I took with my photographer the makeup is still looking pink hey guys uh, so sorry I haven't um, really come on anytime I pick up the phone anytime I want now that I want to chat with you guys that's when this one will start beeping yeah so sorry I haven't really um, you know had a chat with you guys since we got back I have been so busy you know like I told you guys the husband is coming back today yes so you know I'm trying to be the virtuous woman you know and keep the whole house clean keep everywhere spanking make sure that everything is right yeah i've you know sorting out the laundry because <laughs> i don't want him to come home you know i make all the laundry scattered everywhere so i've been sorting out the laundry and now i'm cooking but then i quickly snuck upstairs you know to come and do a quick tiktok i will play for you guys you know i don't know if you guys are following the gist but today apparently um some lucky girls you know Lekki is in Lagos, Nigeria, by the way. But even apart from Lekki, Lekki girls, we've been hearing a lot of gist about what girls go to Dubai to do. You know, they get to eat shit. And of course, guess the gender that has been coming it on their head. You know, shouting, hey, women, what do people do for money? And I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, seriously, if anybody wants to have the, like, the moral ground to speak to ladies, definitely not men definitely not men where are your voices when men every day do you guys remember that there was a time it was a thing men were killing their mothers for rituals even up till now almost every day they are parading guys and uh, men you know that they will say they their girlfriend they use their girlfriend for rituals female parts all over for rituals i don't see men coming out in droves to condemn this to shout what men do for money you know but now it's women you know they say women are eating shit of course all the men are coming out now they have the voice now they're 
men are so hypocritical like they hardly ever condemn their gender i don't know if i'm the only one that has noticed this thing but it's something that i'm really really beginning to see men will keep quiet when their agenda is wrong or they will try and find a way to justify it that's why we have things like oh what was she wearing what did she go and look for there men will have a friend that beats up the girlfriends they will not say zim they will say oh her mouth is you know maybe she's running her mouth it's always men they will always come up with ways you know to defend their agenda okay so now women you know stories of women going to eat street or whatever for money and men men that have been killing women cutting up their private part men that sleep with mad women every day on the streets if you go back to if you go back to nigeria pregnant women women are mad women are pregnant giving back to children over and over is it not men that are sleeping with them and we know that they are doing it for money but they don't say anything it's always when it is women they want to come and start yapping 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 ah women what they do for money anyway so i just had that idea and i have just made a tiktok video on this <laughs> You know, I've been very active. I like TikTok. TikTok is just like vibes and fun. You know, it's not. You don't need to think. You don't need to go and take pictures and you know do all those plenty, plenty things. TikTok is just you know easy, easy place. And yes, I've just really, really been enjoying it. I just said, uh, let me come and update you guys. Oh no, where I told you from the gate that I wasn't trying to be.